this is what really this dreadlocks this is what went free black people and this is what went keep black people together because rastaman deal with peace love and unity mm -hmm. and also repatriation because we are from somewhere i and i originate from africa not england or america or canada most of our children must born in, in america canada and stuff like that but no i and i originate from africa i'm not really rastafari but i've got respect for it because it's sort of a um, it deals with um, black awareness as well, and uh, it makes me want to know the past, my past history, so I can build my future. I really, it's one thing I like to see really, the black youth and the black people in this country. I don't let this country go through the whole of Europe and through the whole of Babylon, as we call it. You know, get, come together and to know that um, there's a destination, Africa. Is our destination. Is that where we are we going because that's where we originate from, you know. And I like to see the brothers and sisters come together as one and start with peace and love instead of fussing and fighting every day amongst themselves, you know. You know, I'm kind of weird. Yeah. I feel that a black man or oh, me is like a man of the world. That means everywhere is supposed to belong to me. It's supposed to belong to everybody as well because. God was the man who man showed everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Germany belonged to me as well. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>
clan actually came to Britain as well. And many people sort of thought that we put those single out just to react to the clan's um, arrival in Britain. But the song was actually written a year before they came. You know what I mean? So we didn't get much airplay because of the subject matter. You know, they couldn't have banned it because when you ban records, well, in England, it sort of gets more publicity and more um, sales. So they just didn't play it as often as they should. They ignored it. They ignored it. Yeah. Uh, what are the songs dealing with, the most of your songs? Well, what it was just dealing with, just um, a black man's personal feeling towards a clan, like saying um, how we can just be just walking down the road doing nothing and suddenly just get attacked like that. That's what it was dealing with, and the conclusion it came to in the song that, well, we, we cannot really put up with any more of this sort of thing. And we just sort of uh, should fight back. Your first album is titled Hands of Revolution. Mm -hmm. Can you please tell me something about Hands and living there? Well, it's one of the places that papers and people outside Hands regard as being a big ghetto, right? They regard it as a place where you can't walk down the street after dark, and there's loads of back viewers out of work, and they don't want to work anyway. And in general, it's a bad place. You know, if you go somewhere and they know about Hansworth, they regard it as a bad place, somewhere you drive through rather than stop. But we all live there, right? And we know a completely different story than the story that's put out. And that's one of the reasons why we've titled the LP hands with revolution, because we reckon something should start there. It's not what people are making it out to be. And people are not, you know, they don't avoid work. The way the papers print, they avoid work. They don't want to know, and they're, they're not all troublemakers. And if they are, there's a reason for it all, you know? But the reason's never said. So that's what we're on about, basically. What do you think is the reason? The reason? Yeah. The reason's the whole system. It goes all back. I mean, it's yeah. like, you got, a guy who leaves school, right? To begin with, they teach him all bullshit at school. What a nonsense, right? He leaves school, and then he goes and looks for a job, right? He goes to countless amount of interviews. He doesn't get a job. So at the end of the day, he's fed up, right? They stick him on the dole. He can't get a job because they don't really want him to work, right? And he's on the dole, and after being on the dole for a while, they cut him off, right? And in this place, he can't live without money, so he's got to get money from somewhere. And then they blame him if he was to go and pinch or steal from someone when he's got no obvious alternative.